So when it comes to importing data, if you want to understand uh, the required fields, the not required fields, um, all the technical names of the fields associated with that table, so on and so forth, um, the best approach to take would be to um, go into settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and click activate the developer mode. And now you're in a technical mode, which you'll know you are in when you see the bug icon up here. And once you're on the home screen, click the home screen just anywhere and don't click an app and then just start typing type models now <clears throat> here's a list of all the tables in Odoo right so the sale dot if I could spell right but the sale dot order is the sale order table um, the account dot account is the account table which is what you're referring to and you can see when I click required twice I'll see a list it will prioritize at the top of the list all the quote unquote required fields in order for me to create and save a record um, that is the account.account. .account. Now you'll see the code, company ID, create asset, name, user type ID. And then you'll see, you know, all the different values here as well. You can drill into those fields, but this is more technical information that probably won't be of any use to you. Um, so the, this is how you get to the models and then search model and pull it up, specifically the account.account .account model, which you're referring to, or the chart of accounts. Now, how do you identify uh, which record, uh, or what should I say, how do you identify the model name of a specific record? Um, the easiest way to do that is, for example, if I go to the cell order, in the URL, it will always tell me the model name, model.cell.order. If I go to my chart of accounts, You'll see model equals account dot account. If I go to an invoice, wow, my spelling is bad today. I apologize. Um, model is account dot move. So you'll be able to see how. Uh, yeah, you can trace back a model and go into that model, and you'll be able to um, then have a list of all of the different fields, which you can you know, go through and, and, and understand uh, when it comes to both importing as well as if you ever want to create new fields and things like that, you can do it right from that table as well. Um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. Thanks so much.